Welcome back. We're going to show you today a raw granola that's made with sprouted buckwheat. If you take a look at this buckwheat, you'll see that it has little tails that are uh, sprouting out of it. And what we've done with this is we put the buckwheat, the uh, untoasted shelled buckwheat, you can't use cassia and you can't use the buckwheat with the little black hull on it, so it's hulled. Why is that? Because it won't sprout like this. So won't grow. No, it, well, not like this. You can you can use the buckwheat with the hull on for doing mm -hmm. soil sprouting okay. to grow greens, but you can't sprout it this way. So what we've done is we've soaked this overnight. We soaked the buckwheat overnight, and then we drained the water off. We let it sprout for 24 hours. You might want to give it a rinse uh, one time through that, and you'll get these little tails that have started. So very easy to do. It's a, a 12 hour soak roughly, eight to, 8 to 12 hours, and then a 24 hour sprout. And we're going to make this raw granola, we're going to put it in our dehydrator and dry it. Um, this is a really, this is probably your favorite oh, breakfast yeah. cereal. Oh yeah. Okay, we've got here um, unsulfured organic coconut. This is shredded dried coconut. Is it important that it's unsulfured? Very important. Why yes. is that? Uh, well, the sulfur, of course, is um, uh, carcinogenic, and uh, we don't want to be taking things mm -hmm. in that are going to be causing cancer in well, our bodies. I knew that, but I just wanted you to share that with everybody who's watching, because a lot of people don't understand that. Here we've got maple syrup. We're going to be putting the recipe up on the screen for you so you'll be able to have the amounts, but we've got maple syrup here. Mm -hmm. And how about those raisins there? You can pass those raisins to me. Some nice raisins. Next. We've got sunflower seeds here that are going in. They got vitamin D in them, don't they? They do have vitamin D. They're mm -hmm. rich in calcium. Great for the bones, actually. Well, for ounce for ounce, they've got more vitamin D than fish oil. That's interesting. And here we have some organic uh, vanilla that we're putting in. I like to use in the granola uh, because this is not going to be uh, cooked, so I like to use a vanilla that's extracted with glycerin rather than alcohol, and uh, then you don't have the alcohol problem. Here we've got some sea salt, a little bit of sea salt. And last but not least. Last but not least, do you know what this one is? This I is your favorite tell. one. Oh, this is mesquite. Is mesquite. This is mesquite, which not, gives not mosquito. Mesquite. Mesquite. Yeah. This gives a nice. Uh, almost a cinnamon-like uh, flavor yeah. in the granola here. So this is very nice. So we're just gonna mix this all up. Well, what's the difference between that and the, and the cinnamon? Well, maybe Why would you, you wanna use mesquite instead of cinnamon? Maybe you'd like to share the oh, reason Oh, maybe for that. I should. Well, you see, mesquite does not have the offensive properties to the digestive tract that cinnamon does. Cinnamon irritates the colon. So you wanna stay away from cinnamon things and go to something like mesquite, which will give you a very similar taste without the harmful side effects. Other nice seasonings could, that could be used in this would be cardamom or mm -hmm. a little bit of coriander. Uh, sometimes we've done this, you can use um, the raw carob if you want a more chocolatey kind of a taste to it. Or it's very cow. nice. Okay, so we're just going to put this onto our dehydrator tray, right here. which we have lined with parchment paper. So parchment paper, the reason that we're lining this, maybe we'll just set these to okay. the side here. The reason that we're lining this tray with parchment paper is because it helps to keep the uh, food off of the, the little mesh screen here, um, making it easier to clean up afterward. Mm -hmm. We can just discard the parchment paper and it helps keep our tray much cleaner, uh, makes our cleanup time a lot quicker. And the air goes through that parchment paper nicely too, not it? Very well, yes, it works mm -hmm. very well. So we're just going to scoop this onto our tray. This is going to go in the dehydrator now at a temperature of 105. We're going to dehydrate that. And usually what I do is I just fill my dehydrator full with the granola. I make a lot at one time. And you just want to let it run until it's completely dry. It's going to take a good day to dry. Mm -hmm. Uh, but that's going to vary from place to place too, uh, depending on the moisture. Well, that smells so good. It does. And buckwheat has a lot of lecithin in it, which means it's uh, going to be good for your brain. And you will, if you watch our sprouting presentation, you will find out some of the wonderful properties contained mm -hmm. uh, in the buckwheat. Mm -hmm. It's actually known as a superfood, and you'll find all that information out um, 
if you want to watch our sprouting presentation. So this could be called super granola then. This is super granola, <laughs> yes. Not only tastes good, but is good for you. Mm -hmm. So you just want to spread this out a little bit on the tray. You just don't want it too thick um, so that it will dehydrate nicely. And again, drying time is going to vary a little bit depending on the area that you're in. Uh, the humidity will cause some variation to take place and also how full the dehydrator is. And there we have a tray. We're going to pop that in the dehydrator and mm -hmm. when we come back we will show you what the finished product looks like.